Hello everyone, Jack here. I've got a big smile on my face and that's because Norwich City have beaten Everton to pick up their first Premier League away victory of the season, scoring two goals in the process and keeping just our second clean sheet of the season to lift us off the bottom of the Premier League table and just one point away from safety. Yes, we've beaten Everton 2-0, goals from Todd Cantwell and that man, Dennis Shrebeni, Jen is here, but she doesn't want to be in shot. You're in your pajamas, aren't you? <laughs> I will show your Christmas socks though that are on my lap. They're very nice. Um, we'll get onto the team in a moment, Jen. What I want to show you first is, of course, you know that we've got the Christmas tree. We still haven't got the angel. Um, I think Dennis Shrebeni will get a place on there tonight. But what we do have, thanks to the lovely Jez from Bez, thank you so much for sending them through, my good man, is we have Norris City Sabutios on the Christmas tree. This one looks to me I like... Made them. I made them. You made them? Well, I added a string and made them on the You did, didn't you? And this one I like in particular, just here, sitting in there. They're, they're all over the place. We've got, got a one down here. We've got a whole team of Norris City players on the tree. United and ready. <laughs> you, you just got your in <laughs> shot. United and ready. And there's also, over here, thanks to Ellie Ricks for this, a card of Theresa May, former Prime Minister. Um, right, time for the team. What was the team? It was slightly different. Emmy Buendia was dropped. So we had Tim Cruel, Aaron's, the big one, was having Christoph Zimmerman back in there today. Of course, he's been out for the majority of the season, the whole season, through injury. It was massive to have him back in the side there today. And I've tweeted um, just now on my personal account that I think I underestimated just how much of an influence uh, Kristoff is on this team. We all know what a fantastic defender he is, but he contributes so much to the side. We looked so much more solid today. And with that, it means we've got a solid foundation to build on going forwards. We've created multiple chances today, more than we have in probably the last four or five games combined. So it was massive to get him back in there next to Ben Godfrey. And hopefully they can combine to create a really formidable partnership this season. Um, and then coming in for the injured Demar Lewis was Sam Byram, who I wasn't overly sure how much of an impact he'd make when we brought him in, um, our record signing of the summer. Um, but he's been brilliant, putting that masterful performance against Manchester City earlier on in the season. And today he looked very good again. And even if Jamal Lewis is fit next game, Sam Byram, for me, keeps his place in there. The midfield partnership of Tom Tribal and Alex Tete, um, I thought he, Fark had maybe made a bit of an error there, not playing Ibrahim Aradu in his preferred, preferred midfield position. But Tribal and Tete did the job and did it very well. Um, fantastic to have Tom Tribal back in there. Just brings so much calmness and, and, and solidity in that middle of the park. And then it was McLean, Cantwell, Hernandez and Puki, of course, meaning that Emi Buendia was dropped from the side. And probably rightly so. It was a very bold call from Daniel Farker to drop um, to drop Emi Buendia, but it paid off. Emi hasn't been in good form in recent weeks. I'm sure dropping him will only boost him up and uh, and get him playing to the to the Emi Buendia standards that we fell in love with last season. Um, but the, that that partnership worked incredibly well. Todd Cantwell getting on the score sheet, um, which is fantastic for him. Good to see Chris Sutton calling him the dear and deco on on BT Sport um, this evening. Um, and Hernandez and Puki combined really well. So it's a massive win, that for Norris City, because confidence was, was at a real low, probably the lowest it's been in, in quite some time, um, coming off the back of a promotion. And, and we just couldn't seem to score goals, keep clean sheets. And when you can't do any of them things, you've got a really tough job on your hands. But we went to Everton, who were coming off the back of a, of a decent win, and were odds-on favourites. Norris City was 7-1 to one going into today's game. You won't see many teams at bigger odds than that. Um, this season. So it shows how much of an upset we've caused there. And I'm just really happy that we've finally got a win on the board. And that will instill confidence. We go up against an Arsenal side who've lost to Southampton today, next weekend at Carrow. It's going to be buzzing under the floodlights. And hopefully this can be the start of, of a, a little revival. Um, and it closes that gap because there was one starting to open. And it was good to see Watford lose today as well. So we pull off the bottom of the table. Jen, happy? So happy. Mm. Very, very happy. What are you happy about? Norwich winning. Yeah, and my nice dinner. Yeah, the dinner you cooked was marvellous. 
uh, a stir fry with a multitude of vegetables and some agave nectar in there. I'd say Ana Hernandez was the agave nectar, a sweet, sticky punch. And the multitude of vegetables was that concoction of Norwich players that came together today to create something rather special. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, we've got a massive podcast coming soon. Episode number 100. And we are not going to let you down. We've secured a brilliant, brilliant guest. That will be out next week. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.